approaching Torch's Island. they call Torch. Shea Visla. That little nickname the locals came up with. Hell if I know why. You recently had a falling out with the Revenites and the Nova Blades. I could use your help. I bet you could. Tell you what. Instead of whatever grand gesture of cooperation you thought might happen here, why don't we try something a little different? In a while since I had a decent challenge, I'm taking this opportunity to show my clan how it's done. <sighs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Been a while since someone's given me a fight like that. You should be proud. You're telling me this was all just a fun little sparring match for you? Well, me, my clan, and our beasts. So I wouldn't call it little, really. Now then, I'd say you earned some answers. It was the Revenites you were asking about, right? We were the ones who hooked them up with the Nova Blades. Even helped them win a scrap or two. Once they started the secret manipulating all-out war nonsense, I pulled us out. I've had my fill of war. Did the Revenites tell you anything else about their plans? Afraid not. I do know they've got a whole fleet of warships tucked away somewhere on this planet. Never gave me any real details or coordinates, but they're here. If you want to find them and smash them up, more power to you. I liked this place a lot better before they showed up. If you want to join the fight, you'd be welcome. I'll keep it in mind. Pretty sure I've got enough to do around here, though. Let's get you patched up, Vode. I've been going too easy on you! Afford to be so reckless, Jakaro. Losing Theron is bad enough. What if we lost you too? Now, now, everyone, stay calm. Queen Lena of Onderon once faced a similar predicament, and her solution was quite creative. Shut up, droid. What's going on? Where's Theron? He was captured. The Nova Blades data listed a Revenite safe house here in town, and when we tried to investigate. <laughs> Theron is the only one the Revenites saw. They may not know about the rest of us. If so, we need to maintain that advantage. You made a tough call, but I think it was probably the right one. I really think you're all much too worried. They took him alive! That's a good sign! They're probably just torturing him a bit. Maybe doing some interrogation, where... He could tell them about us. Oh no! That won't be an issue. Theron has several discreet implants to help him ignore pain and chemical manipulation. What if Revan or one of his followers used the Force? Couldn't they read his mind? I've never been able to... 
Yes, I've tried. I'm sure it's no surprise. Theron's mind is highly ordered, very resolute, probably due to his childhood training by the Jedi. He'll keep our secrets and we will rescue him. But right now, we need to focus and think it all through, just like he would. You're right. We need to stick to the mission. When we find the Revanites, we'll find Theron. Precisely. If we're fortunate, he may even learn a bit about their plans. Now, what did you learn from the Mandalorians? Revan has a hidden fleet here on Rishi. He's preparing for some kind of battle. A hidden fleet? Pirates altering shipping lanes. That's it. They aren't just affecting the shipping lanes, they're also changing Imperial and Republic patrol paths. Revan is trying to draw them into a battle. Here, over Rishi. With his own ships in the mix, both fleets could be devastated. That must be his goal. Weakening both sides so that he can make his own play. We have to find some way to interfere. I know where to find them! <laughs> After they caught Theron, I intercepted their transmissions. After that, triangulating their base was a simple calculation. I completed it almost 87 seconds ago. They're on a small island not far from here. The native Rishi have a trading village on the same island. I'm sure they'd give us comfortable lodging. Then let's go. We need to clean up any trail we might have left here. You go on, we'll meet you shortly. Oh, I used to love the squad cleaning. has been neutralized. But you know that. Yes, Major. Thank you for cleaning up my mess. They deserved better, but so do you. Before what happened, they must have been fine soldiers. I'm sorry. So am I, for many reasons. I can't cover this one up. Not like Ando Prime or Commander Tavis's defection. The Senate won't ignore the incident at Fort Clamark. Eclipse Squad killed 200 innocent people, the politicians will pounce. My spec force career is over. It's time to stop hiding behind operational secrecy. You need to tell the truth about spec force's full record. No one's hiding. I've shielded the Senate from the decisions they can't face. You should know that. But you keep making the same choices and people keep paying for them. There has to be accountability. Would you testify against me, Major? If I had to, yes. I see. All the testimony in the world won't right my mistakes. I'll be stripped of my uniform, likely put in a comfortable prison. But I know better than to pit myself against you. When the Senate calls, I'll open the record. We've had our differences, General. But Havoc and the Republic owe you a debt of gratitude. You help make me who I am. That's enough, Major. Thank you. It's been a long flight to Rishi, and I do need to get back to Coruscant. It could be some time before we meet again. I understand. I've got my own mission to handle here. Then get the job done. I meant what I said before. You've outgrown me, and I am proud. It's been an honor serving with you. General? For the last time is your commander dismissed. Greetings. We watched you fighting on the beach. The other off-worlders were very unkind. We are much friendlier. Have you come to trade? Do you need lodgings? Outsiders are always welcome here. Thank you for the warm welcome. I'm surprised you're so open to outsiders. We love outsiders. You all have such interesting things to say. <coughs> An entirely new offworlder. We've never encountered your language. Please, speak more. Oh, there's no need for that, I assure you. I can speak quite well for both of us. Allow me to introduce... The second head speaks too. <laughs> I assumed it was decorative. How fascinating. You mentioned the other off-worlders earlier. The ones who attacked me. What do you know about them? We don't know much. I'm afraid they usually avoid us. It seems a little rude, but we know that our ways are different. They have some camps on the island. They wear different colors. Dark in one, light in the other. But they all work together. 
like you. Revenites. Some from the Republic, some from the Empire. I think you're right. I'm still going over the data Theron decoded from the Nova Blades. Go to those camps and interfere any way you can. Save the reading for later. It'd be nice to have you along for once. I'd like to, but I really don't think you'll need my help. My time is better spent here. May the Force serve you well. Alright, you're here. You got us. The commander of Havoc Squad. Expert at executing traitors. That's what your mission here is all about, right? This can go any way you want it to, Captain. I'd like to avoid any more bloodshed if I can. If you wanted to stop the bloodshed, you'd be on our side. We've sworn to overthrow the governments who've kept the galaxy divided for so long. To end this war. How can you possibly justify standing in our way? You're betraying the Republic, causing thousands of deaths. All on the word of a single madman. Revan sees through the lies. He knows how to save the galaxy. From what? War? Revan's been fighting this war for centuries. He's obsessed with it. This guy says he's going to save us all, but he's manipulating and killing an awful lot of people along the way. Will there be anyone left to save when he's done? I... I don't know. What do you want from me? Huh? Why are you saying all of this? You can help me stop this madness before anyone else gets hurt. There's another camp nearby. Help me break up their forces. The less support Revan has, the less damage he can do. The former Imperials? You really are crazy. You know what? I'm in. Anyone else? We've got your back, Cap. Be just like old times. You give us a signal, we'll charge in with everything we've got. Welcome back, Captain. Speak your name, soldier. I like to know who I'm about to slaughter. Captain Milanek. Don't be ridiculous. I know the man. He's... Ah. Changing sides again, Captain? I always knew you were too weak to carry our fight to its end. Insults make for hollow last words, Ivris. It's over. There's no point in more fighting. No. I suppose not. We'll keep them under watch and hold down the camp. We can fake the security check-in so no one notices. At least for a while. Also, we got something interesting out of one of the Sith guards. Here. Coordinates for the bunker where your pal Theron's being held. Good work. Thanks. Good luck to you. <laughs> 